Dunk Diaries is a collection of the best dunkers at every level, showing you what it takes to make the best dunks of all time. This is what you don't see about dunking. Hi, I'm Tyler Curry. I'm 5'11 and I'm 20 years old. I realized I jumped higher than everybody. And like 10 years old, I was grabbing backboard and net before everybody. And I was the smallest person on my team. So everybody just always knew I had bounce. My first dunk was at uh, 24 Hour Fitness. It was probably like 11th grade. Cause that's like when I hit my growth spurt. And there wasn't that many people there, but I was excited. I am always just had bounce, but I was short. So I really couldn't dunk. And just messing around with my friends, I did the drive-by dunk challenge. The drive-by dunk challenge was uh, me hopping out the car and going to a random person's house and dunking on their court and getting back in and driving off. I was just in front of my friend's house and waiting and then he was just like, go dunk on their court. And I was like, all right, record. And then I did a crazy dunk. It went viral, everybody was doing it. NBA players, Darren Fox did it. College players, little kids. And I just started doing dunk sessions and really came into a world of dunking that I really didn't know was here. When I first met Tyler, he was super shy. I think he was two weeks out of high school and all of a sudden he was dunking with the best dunkers in the world. Showed flashes of greatness like immediately. He wasn't ready yet, but he is ready now. I think what makes me different is my style. Everybody says I'm like nonchalant when I jump, but I'm very explosive. I think a lot of people might get up like me, but I think my dunk just looks a lot nicer than everybody's. It just looks nasty he just will take a step and his head will be at the rim. So just like the explosiveness, like all pro dunkers jump high, but he gets up there a little quicker than everybody else does. Confidence is definitely a key in being a good dunker. Cause like being nervous or thinking you can't do it, that'll just like weigh you back. I don't think I take my dunk style from anybody. I think it's just me. I knew this could be a profession when I got invited to Dunk League. It had a lot of pros and cons. Now, it for sure motivated me, because I don't like to lose. So just losing made me want to, the next time around, I'm gonna be at the top. The traits that make up a good dunker are, I think how hard you slam it, your style, and just being creative. Something that nobody's seen, something different from everybody else. I think my favorite is the through the legs reverse. I like to do it off a lob. I throw a lob and through the legs and just reverse with two hands. I think it's my favorite because I don't see nobody do it. And I just think it's different and it looks crazy. The best dunk I've seen Tyler do, he did a off the lob 360 windmill, but he scooped it when he did the 360 windmill. He did it the Vince Carter way, the reverse 360, which I had never seen before. I had never seen anyone do it. The dunker that Tyler reminds me of is another LA dunker of the past, which is uh, Young Hollywood. And they both have like an effortless kind of trot, and then they're just head at the rim, like real quick. He just gets up so quick. The best dunk ever is Jonathan Clark's double between the legs. That was crazy. And my favorite dunker is uh, Chris Staples. He taught me a lot, and he's the first person I met in the dunk community. And he gets up like crazy. And my dream dunk is for sure behind the back between the legs. Short term goal for dunking is for sure winning a contest. And long term goal for dunking is just creating something that nobody's seen before. And that people could try and I want everybody to just fail and not be able to do it. Like just so cool to see how far he's come in these two years. The future's in his own hands. Uh, if, he, if he stays at it, then this kid can be around for a really long time. I think I'm the most underrated dunker. And I don't think a lot of people know me yet. I don't think I made myself like established in the dunk game yet, but I'm coming.
Thank you for watching my Dunk Diaries. You can subscribe to Team Flight Brothers and Whistle Sports to check out more episodes. And you can follow me on Instagram at t.curry, t.currie.